everyone, welcome to this month's altar redecorating and today we're going to be decorating the altar for April, or no, not April, <laughs> February. We are in February, I'm jumping too far ahead. Today I decided to use the same altar cloth that I used for last month and it was simply because I was going to use my red one which I think I used during um, December for the December altar but I just, with the color palette of stones that I'm going to be using, I felt like the color was too heavy for this month because I was going to stick with like reds and pinks because February is the month of Valentine's Day. So I was going to go with more of that, but it just ended up not working out. The energies didn't feel right. They didn't feel the way that I wanted them to feel. So I decided to go for something lighter. And this is still kind of heavy for the palette that I, or the color palette that I'm going for, but I need to run out to the store and get some new altar cloths and I just haven't done it yet. So this is just going to have to work for now. I did take out a couple staples that I usually have on my altar, which the biggest one that you're going to notice is my business crystal. And this one is a quartz crystal that's programmed for my business. And I just felt like it just needed a break because I've pretty much used it every single altar that I've done since May of last year, I think. So I think it just needed a break and it was just a little bit tuckered out. So I'm setting it to the side for this month and possibly next month. We'll see. I haven't saged it yet, so I'm going to do that. One of the things I'm really excited about this month's altar is that I get to add some new crystals. So we're just going to hop right in and I'm going to add my candle, which I put a new one in because I have burned through two doing readings this month. I'm going to introduce you to one of my new crystals and I think I told you guys about my new crystals in one of my recent vlogs, but if you haven't seen that, I will show you them. So this is one of my new crystals and this is a quartz crystal cluster and it is pretty good good size, but this is one of my newer crystals and I'm super excited about having it on my altar this month. I was eagerly awaiting because I got these around the, the middle of January and I've just been itching to use them on my altar. So I'm super excited to put these on. I'm going to put this guy right there. And then I also got a selenite tower and this is new as well. I am so excited about this. I've been wanting to get a tower for a while, but I just hadn't found one that I wanted and that I felt called to get and finally I found one that I really liked and I'm I'm gonna use this on my altar a lot because it takes up less space than my big selenite chunk and my palm stone so I think I'm gonna be using this on my altar quite a bit in the future and then another one of the new ones that I'm gonna be using today is this which is black amethyst and merlinite druzy I'm going to put that on there I think I'm gonna actually have this because it's taller I think I'm going to have it like that. And then other ones that are old favorites I'm going to be adding. This one is fairly new because I haven't used this a whole lot on my altars, but I felt called to use it this month. This is green calcite. If my camera will focus. There we go. This is green calcite, and I just looked up the metaphysical properties because I had forgotten <laughs> what they were. But it's good for fertility and for connecting with your psychic abilities and um, what else? Oh, it's the gardening stone. It's called a gardening stone. A lot of people use these in their potted plants to help them grow um, during the winter and things like that or during the spring in their garden. Um, so I felt like that was appropriate because we're getting closer to spring and so I felt like I wanted that on my altar. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm also going to put my lavender quartz, which is it's basically um, in the same realm as rose quartz, but it's just a different in color and it has slightly different properties. Oh, also this is a heart chakra stone, so I felt like it was appropriate for this month. I'm also going to put my opalite on there because it's such a pretty stone. I just love the color of it and it just called to me this month, so we're going to put that on there. Then I'm also going to include the quartz point that is connected to my brother in Seattle and so I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put that right in the middle. And then I'm also going to use a piece of amethyst and 
Amethyst is a good all over stone. It's great stone for anybody to use, but it just has really great properties. Sorry. Wow. That's so blown out. Um, it's just a really great stone all over and I just felt called to use it. I'm also going to use two stones that I used last month on last month's altar, which is citrine, which is a great manifesting money stone, which this is also a manifesting and money stone if I didn't mention that. Um, and I'm going to put it pretty much in the same spot that it was last month. And then I'm also going to be using aqua aura, which I'm going to use my little tumble and not the point this month. I just felt called to use the tumble and I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm trying to like even these out because I want to put something in the middle. Um, and then the last stone I'm going to be putting on the altar this month is pink tourmaline. And this is a heart chakra stone. Sorry, I was waiting for it to uh, focus. It also is a very powerful heart stone. And so if you're doing heart work, um, heart chakra work, or, you know, love work, definitely use this stone. This is a great stone to use for that. So I'm going to put that on this altar. And I just felt like that was appropriate simply because of the month and, you know, the energies of the month. And similar to last month, I put cards on the altar. And I think this month I'm either going to put one or two. I haven't really decided how many cards I want on my altar, but I was planning on one, but it looks like there's just perfect space for two, doesn't it? So I picked out a couple cards in my house, uh, Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. And I was kind of surprised that I felt called to this deck because it is a slightly darker deck compared to other decks that I own, but I decided to use it this month because I just obviously felt called to use it, and I picked out um, some cards intuitively in the deck, and I'm going to pick one to put on my altar. I'm getting called to this one. High Priestess of Fire, which is a very awesome energy to connect with this month. And you know what? I am feeling like there needs to be two, so I'm going to put that off to the side and pick another one. Oh, I knew this one was going to come out. Okay, so this is the High Priestess of Spirit. So that's really cool that we got two High Priestesses in the deck. I only had, I only pulled two High Priestess cards out of the ones that were in the deck, so that's pretty awesome that they both came out. And they are, you know, similar and good colors for this month, pink and red, so that seems fitting. But... Um, I wanted to have these in the options that could come out for this month for the cards because I think it, this card coming out this month just means that I need to work on connecting more with the fire element and, you know, connect more with it and find the power in the power of fire. So I think that's good. And obviously it's good to connect with spirit. So I hope you guys liked this altar decorating video. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys because it's just nice to share the process of decorating my altar with you guys and just, you know, telling you guys why I'm doing certain things and choosing certain elements and things like that to put on it. And I really enjoy that you guys enjoy watching these because I enjoy making them. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and so you can see more videos from me and if you have any video suggestions you can comment down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Also if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can also put those in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to your comments as soon as possible and also if you want a reading from me go ahead and check out my website or Etsy store in the description box below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!